Sunday today is Tuesday maybe that was Saturday I don't know y'all will probably know before I know but um yeah I, I have not picked up the camera and I wish I would have today because this morning oh my goodness this morning has been so swift now last night we 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 had some issues okay FJ decided to wake up last night and um around like three o'clock three four yeah three o'clock he woke up before sloan left off of work so he woke up at three o'clock and he didn't want to go back to sleep until around six and y'all salem woke up around seven and they always do this to me they literally always do this to me one of them will all if the one that woke up it stays quiet enough to allow the other one to sleep then the one that was sleeping through the nonsense will wake up right after i put the nonsense baby to sleep they do it all the time literally maybe two nights ago salem was the crazy baby and sj slept through it and when it was time to get put salem down sj had woke up like 30 minutes later but i say all that to say even though last night was kind of hectic, this morning has been so smooth. It has been such a smooth morning. I don't know if I explained this in my last video, but this is old breast milk. And old being, you know, it has exceeded its drinkable time. And I keep this because I added it into the boys' baths. So their skin gets really, really, really dry. And I hope it don't sound like I'm screaming too much because I am screaming a little bit because I want y'all to be able to hear me. But the boy's skin gets really dry 
and I use this to kind of combat that their skin is not as dry um, and that just comes with like the season honestly their skin does the best um, I can't contest to Salem skin in the springtime granted he was born in the springtime you know he was still fresh and he wasn't born outside but um, based off of SJ skin and seeing that thus far they have similar skin, their skin does the best in the spring and the fall time. When I say no dryness, no dry patches, they have absolutely no dry patches. Um, SJ has none in the spring and none in the fall. Yeah, summertime, oh, summertime SJ cheeks get so red. His cheeks get so red. Summertime and wintertime, they get so red. And this winter has not been any different and last summer was not any different. They was dry and um, like bumpy. Nah, not bumpy in like a rash kind of aspect, but it's just like where the dry areas is, it feels bumpy, if that makes sense. I hope, I, I hope that makes sense. But that's what the breast milk is for. It helps me out a lot. I do breast milk. I wash them up in the Baby Dove soap for melanated skin. And then I grease them. Yes, I grease them. I don't lotion them. I use Vaseline to moisturize their skin because it's really thick. Um, I'm thinking about changing to Aveeno. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but it's a thought of mine to change to Aveeno. And then I... Uh, what else do I do? I do coconut oil for their hair. Their scalps aren't really dry. Their scalps are good. It's literally just like their back. SJ's problem area is his back. Salem's problem area, his back and his cheeks. And Salem's problem area is his thighs and his cheeks. But yeah, I use breast milk. Um, how did I get on that topic? I was trying to tell y'all how this morning has been so smooth. Yes. I wish I would have picked up the camera because this morning has been literally so smooth. Granted, it's 9.35 and I have a pump jack and I do prefer to pump before 10 to keep me on schedule, but that's okay. I can still stay on schedule if I pump at 10, but outside of me not pumping yet because I didn't wash the pumps or the cup, or the, the pumps or the bottles last night. Opposite of that, everything is going smooth. Um, and I didn't even, I didn't take a sip of my coffee yet. Like, and I'm so surprised that everything is going so well because I'm like, what the heck? You wouldn't have thought that I woke up in the middle of the night. That's how good I feel. Like, I feel really good. And I think that's because last night, I went to sleep with a cup of coffee. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's not, but... That's what I'm I'm giving the credit to. I had a cup of coffee by my bed and I set it in the window seal so that it can get cold. And I had me some cold brew coffee <laughs> throughout the night. That's what I'm giving the you know the credit to is my cold brew coffee, my homemade cold brew window coffee. <laughs>
y'all. I figured I might as well pick the phone up and show y'all finally what um, school looks like for me and SJ. So today, it's no like set thing that we do per se for school. A lot of the times, I just go with the flow. Like I have an idea of what I want to focus on, but it's not like this is our curriculum and we're gonna do this, 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 and that. It's not like that. It's really us focusing on the things that he already knows and just giving him a reminder. And then us reading a book and then we'll do you know some new things like maybe a new animal or a new insect or play with blocks that's what school looks like for us and a lot of times school takes place in the living room i'm guessing school is going to take place in the bedroom today because that is where he has come so i guess school is taking place in the in the bedroom today so let me go get my tripod and Salem is sleeping right now. So I'm just gonna leave him in his crib and we're gonna go to school. So yeah, meet y'all there. Okay, um, in case you did not see me reorganizing their room, these clothes, eventually I'll get rid of them. That's the stuff that they can't fit or stuff that Salem can't fit primarily. This is his learning board and over here, I like their educational toys, blocks, books, um, their like etch a sketch thingy, and yeah, some sensory toys. And so, all right, I'm gonna get into school now. <laughs> So I showed y'all a little bit of um, what we did. We, we read his favorite book. Because I'm not going to be showing up by a bag. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be showing up by a bag. But we read a little bit of his favorite book, book which is Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? Um, and then we also did some alphabet which i didn't show because i didn't look he's bringing me a book he actually really likes reading he really really loves reading and at one point in my life i liked reading too but that ain't me no more but i'm constantly reading but either way like i said i showed y'all a little bit of um him reading or me reading to him and what else did we do we did the stacking blocks, we did some alphabets, we did some numbers, 
and we honestly played. That's what school time looks like for us most of the time because SJ is two. He's a kid. He doesn't understand. He's a baby. He doesn't understand the concept of sitting down and learning. Um, one and two, we do this stuff throughout the day. Like we do numbers throughout the day. We do alphabets throughout the day. When he sees something, if he sees a letter on my shirt, on his shirt, on TV, he will read that number back or that letter back. Um, it's not really like, like I said, there's no curriculum to what we're doing. Like I have an idea of what I want to do with him on a day-to-day -day basis, but there's really no curriculum. We just go with the flow because realistically, SJ has emotions and some days he just don't feel like doing schoolwork. Some days he's not going to feel like sitting down and focusing on this book that he can't read by himself. He's not going to feel like that, that it's going to be too much. It's going to be overwhelming for him, which means he won't. And then he can't express his emotions all the way. So, or he can't express his emotions at all. Like he doesn't understand how to tell me, mama, I'm mad or mama, I'm sad. He's not there. So he just knows that he feels a way and he's going to express himself through crying and so to avoid having to cry because of school and to avoid having that bad relationship with school, I let him run the class pretty much. And I will show him, ooh, look at this. This is interesting to do. Like, ooh, numbers are fun, something like that, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to sit here and build out a whole lesson plan for him because he's only two. And like I said, we do these things throughout the day. So it makes it a little bit easier to just make school time fun time. Um, and what's even better is during school time, Salem is napping. So not only is it school time fun time, but it's mommy and me time. That's time where we get to sit together and I'm going to serve up SJ snack. He's already eaten some of his cracker. Today for his snack, he's having a granola bar, some banana, and some peanut butter crackers. Real simple. This mama don't do much. Snack. And then he has his sippy cup. Obviously to wash it down. Like any other kid, SJ is a very messy eater. But... I don't mind. I'll just clean it up. It's going to get messy one way or another. Everything is not meant to be clean forever. That's just the kind of mommy I am. I don't know about you, but that's the kind of mommy I am. He'll have to learn one day, so why not today? But like I was saying, um, let me adjust this a little bit. Or maybe leave it the same way that it was. But like I was saying, yeah, school is school time is not... A time for me to be super strict on him because the last thing I want is for him to have a bad relationship with school so when it is time for him to go to school he's just like no I don't like this or no this is a punishment I don't ever want him to feel like school is a punishment I want him to feel like school is a fun safe place for him to learn and that's the biggest thing for me being his mama and Salem's mama is that I'm teaching them ways to cope with their emotions and not just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Or um, I'm teaching them ways for them to express themselves. I'm teaching them ways to just be vocal. Like it's okay if you don't feel up to doing school today, but we'll find fun ways to learn because we do still have to learn. And sometimes, some days learning looks like playtime for us because they learn through play he's again he's only two he's only two he learns through play so yeah um i don't got much more to say on that i don't got much more to say on that <laughs> but if you do want some ideas of like how we turn you know, learning, how, how else we turn learning into playing, you know, just let me know. And I will definitely give y'all some ideas. Some days we do arts and crafts and some days it just looks like us sitting in the room or us sitting in the living room. Some days, not lately, 
because they've been it's been cold outside and they've been back and forth getting sick but some days learning is us going outside and playing and you know just getting that sensory learning in and touching the grass and the leaves and the branches and stuff like that some days learning looks like we're not doing much at all some days learning just looks like us sitting on the couch because at the end of the day for a two-year-old and for a seven-month-old they are learning they're learning how to build a relationship with their mama when we're just lounging on the couch like that that is something they have to learn they have to learn how to build a relationship and that's a core memory like they're not going to remember it while they're two but I feel like if I implement it now like me having that that single one-on-one -on -one time with both of them if I'm implementing in that if I'm implementing that into our schedule now it's, it's going to be natural when they do start to remember things. We'll just be going with the flow and it's not, not nothing new. And it's, uh-uh-uh, don't push baby. Uh -uh. Welcome, Salem. He's up from his nap. How wonderful. <laughs> um, I had cut that last part short because SJP peed on himself in his boxers. We are in the process of potty training, which has been a very long process. I think this is like week two, I think. Week two, maybe two and a half. I don't really know. But I'm going at it still. I'm going at it. It's actually not been the easiest for me. Like, I know a lot of people have said, oh, yeah, um, you know, just let him run naked. And I keep looking at myself. I need to look at the camera. If y'all see my eyes moving back and forth, it's because I'm looking at myself in the camera, myself in the camera, myself in the camera. But yes, um, a lot of people have said, let him run naked. And within a week, you know, he'll be potty trained. And I let him run naked for all of an hour. And he pooped on the floor. And I said, yeah, no, this is over for me. I'm not, not doing that no more. Like, that's crazy. I'm not doing that one no more. And when SJ has to poop, SJ gets quiet. And SJ goes and hides. And he gets on all fours. And he lets it out. He lets it out. And over top of a little man screaming, sometimes I don't recognize that SJ is quiet or SJ has gone and pooped. I don't recognize it because it's like it's a lot of noise going on and especially in the morning time which is when I did it I did it in the morning time so I had you know me cooking and Salem screaming their ABCs and stuff their morning their morning uh shows and stuff on so it, it was a lot going on I didn't recognize oh snap that shit cry that shit is quiet he's probably pooping and sure enough, I turned around and I'm like, this child pooped. But yeah, potty training has been, it has been quite the experience with SJ because he has learned how to hold his pee, which is, which yes, we want him, we want him to hold his pee, but I don't want him to hold his pee all morning and wait until I put the pull up on for nap time to let it all out. That's not what I want. I want him to learn how to hold his pee and let me know, hey, I have to go to the potty. But he will hold his pee or he will hold his poop until I put the pull-up back on him because we, we're on the potty about every 15 minutes or so. But SJ is, is either he'll hold it or right after we get off the toilet, he uses the bathroom on himself. And it's just like, oh my gosh, we was on the toilet for 20 minutes. Why not just let it out? But it's been a roller coaster ride with potty training SJ. And I know it's not going to take forever. It's not going to last all year. So this mama's taking a deep breath. This mama's taking a deep breath. And as you know, I'm going to share all my tips and tricks on, you know, what I'm doing, what I've learned, what I have 
you know brought into the process i'm going to share all that with y'all over on my instagram and and on here too but it's just y'all be like in the moment on instagram but i'm going to share that stuff it's not easy sometimes i feel defeated um at the end of the day but you know it's, it's all for a good a good cause and <sighs> I will benefit from it. <laughs> I will benefit from it by the end of the year. So, now it is time for, now it is time for uh, me to get ready to put SJ to sleep. He hasn't finished his snack yet, so once he gets finished his snack, then we'll be going to sleep. Well, I won't be going to sleep. I got work to do, but he'll be going to sleep. So maybe he's going to sleep around one today. Yeah, around one something. I'll be in the room to put them down for nap time. Oh, I forgot my lunch. All right, y'all, here we are again another week and I completely forgot to close out the vlog. Um, so here I am closing out the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, tune in next week for this upcoming week's vlog uh like subscribe share all that good stuff make sure your mammy see it, your auntie see it, your grandmammy see it, your sister your brother your cousins make sure everybody see it okay all right i'll see y'all later keep on keeping on y'all peace